Hi there, students. To malinger, a verb. A malingerer, the person who malingers. And the noun may be malingering. OK, to malinger is to pretend to be ill in order to avoid having to work. <coughs> I'm terribly sick today. I can't come in to work. Maybe I'll be better tomorrow. What time's the match? Shall we leave now? This is to malinger. This is uh, when you're pretending to be ill because you don't want to work or to pretend to be ill because you are um, you want to avoid duty. You want to avoid doing something. So is he really ill or is he malingering? Um, yeah, this is somebody who was accused of being work shy, of malingering. Um, there are people who say the unemployed are lazy malingerers, but that's just not true. It can be very difficult to get a job at times. Or maybe students malinger on the day of their exam so that they don't have to go to the exam and uh, they can get a pass without studying or because they're worried about uh, whether they're going to pass or not. Let's see, I think this word malinger, I would particularly associate it with the army. People malingering, they're, um, they, they're not go they, they don't want to go on parade or they don't want to go to the battle. So they pretend to be sick and they pretend not to be capable of going to work. And in fact, in the US Army, you can be court-martialed for malingering feigning illness, physical disability, or mental lapse or derangement. Yeah, so this is when you pretend not to be in a fit state to go to work, to go to war, to do your duty. Yeah, and this is the idea of to malinger. Yeah, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure all of us have sometimes malingered. Uh, and instead of going to school, you tell your mum you feel really sick. How do I get my temperature up? How do I make it look like I've got a temperature? Yeah, and then uh, you don't have to go to school. You get a day off school and, uh, well, maybe you don't spend it all in bed. It, dep it depends, but so to malinger, to pretend to be ill, yeah, to... Uh, pretend illness or injury or incapacitation to avoid work or obligation or risk. Yeah, so I think malingering has been going on since the beginning of time. Yeah, because we all have these uh, days when well, we just can't, we just don't want to do another day's work or we just don't want to go to work or yeah um i really really don't want to go to my aunt's house on saturday uh you you see how sick i can suddenly be on uh, saturday morning yeah you can call me a malingering and accuse me of malingering but i'm going to do it anyway okay so to malinger yeah is to uh, pretend you're ill when you're not let's see um uh, uh, what about origin yeah let's do the origin first okay it comes from french uh, apparently there's an adjective malingre meaning delicate or fragile yeah i'm not sure whether the the uh, pretend bit comes but here also we've got this mal meaning which gives the idea of mad so to malinger to shirk to avoid work to be work shy yeah this is w what 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 malingering is um okay so he was mal his boss suspected him of malingering because of his frequent absences from work especially when his team were playing at home 
Okay, so yeah, this is avoidance. Also, they, um, I think medically they differentiate to malinger from, what do they call it, factious disorder. This is when there's a mental component and you actually really do feel ill um, when you've got to work or take a responsibility. And that's more, uh, actually more a mental problem. But this to malinger is to do it consciously, yeah? To shirk your responsibilities, to avoid your responsibilities by malingering, yeah? You just try and uh, get out of uh, what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, now, what about formality? Um, I think I'd probably give this a six in formality. Um, I think I would probably use the verb to shirk or a shirker in an informal conversation. You might use the word malinger, but it's got an ex a bit of extra formality. So I'd use it in semi-formal and very formal writing. I think maybe even 6.5 in formality. <coughs> Notice as well, to malinger is a regular verb. He malingered yesterday, he's, he's malingering today, and he is malingered all week. Yeah, he's just uh, a work-shy, lazy malingerer. Okay, so, to malinger is not a, a bad, well, it's not a, a good thing, but we all need to do it from time to time. Oh, boss, I feel so ill, I just can't do it. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. So, a malingerer malingers. Yeah, he, uh, he uh, does a lot of malingering.